Hello, in this session, we are going to discuss how to draw scatter diagram, scatter plot. See the difference between line graph and scatter plot. Line joins the observations points and scatter plot just plots the observations in the form of points. We can see I have an excel sheet in this I have got price and demand. I just asked a dealer what is the price of this pen? He says one rupee. And how many pens you can sell in a day? He says 40. And price of this pen is two rupees. How many you can sell? 28. Price is three rupees. How many you can sell? 32. So like this, if the price is 10 rupees, you can sell only seven pens in a day. I just want to plot this as a scatter diagram between price and demand. Price will be our x axis, demand will naturally be y axis, or vice versa. Demand can be our x axis and price will be our y axis. After drawing the scatter plot, we will insert a regression line in the diagram and it will also tell us the regression equation. Suppose you want to make this as if for forecasting purpose, so you will make a regression equation. So Python will help us to make the regression equation. We can make the regression equation demand on price or price only. I have already started Jupiter. In Jupiter, I have already started Python 3. Now, this, this I will change it as scatter plot. I have named it. Now, in this case, I will import the important packages, functional packages like tkinter, pandas, matplotlib, maybe numpy, maybe stat, statistics. So let me import the packages. I will write the simple commands which we have been using for last so many videos. So I have written import tk inter as tk. This is a package which will help us to select the files, browse the file and select the file. Pandas which will read our files in the DF, Excel files in DF, Seaborn, which will, will help us to calculate the statistics and make the diagrams, Matplotlib also will help us to draw the diagram if it is required in this. I am also going to download SkyPy and from SkyPy, I am going to import stats. See, you can import statistics directly. You can import SkyPy and then from SkyPy import stats. So from TK enter, I am going to import file dialog direct and other import all constant and functions from TK enter and import TTK. This will help me to select the file, browse the file and select the file. So these are the five, six packages, functional packages. You must memorize it. 
for working on the data analysis. There are many more, but these are the important things. TK enter is basically to uh, browse the file and select the file, but Pandas, Seaborn, Matplotlib, SkyPy, they are the important packages. Once you uh, learn uh, how to use it, it will be easy for you. Now let me write the how to open the window and from the window we will select the file and then we will close the window. That is very important. We will close the window. So now when TK, that's a kind of window with the geometry 7 into 7 into 5 and FP is the array where the file name will be saved, ask open file name and then this window will be destroyed in 3 seconds and pandas will read the file df fp which we have stored the file name here and then columns will be columns of all the uh, from the database and then count columns will be counted and it will be counted from 1 1 to this then it will print and you can select the columns which you want See, you are going to give input what is going to be your x axis and what is your going to be y axis which will be saved in b a and b and then x will be your integer minus integer a because a will be string you will convert into integer minus 1 because index starts with the 0 and then columns integer b minus 1 x y will be there. Now you will you are ready to plot the scatter plot. So we are calling SNS. We have already imported this Seaborn as SS, SNS. So Seaborn SNS scatter plot y is equal to dfy, which we have created there, x is equal to dfx, and our data is df. But we are going to make a title here scatter plot for x and y so this will be printed as our title let us run it and see how it works so first of all it will take some time to import all the functional packages then it will ask for the file name and then it will ask you what is your going to be x axis and what is your going to be y axis so i am going to run it it took some time to load all the packages and then open the file browser. I have opened the file browser and I am going to select my file test file which I showed you in the beginning with price and demand. Now it is going to open the file. It will ask me what is your going to be x axis. So my x axis will be will be price or I can say demand. X axis will be demand and y axis will be say price. You can make it reverse also. So now it is showing me the scatter plot. After this scatter plot, I am interested to draw a regression line as well as I want a regression equation. So, so this, is, this is the scatter plot. Price is, is on your y axis, demand is on your x axis. You can convert it also. Let us convert into different this run. It is asking me to open the file test file. I have opened it. And then I will say price as x axis, demand as your y axis so you have to just simply write one or two so now demand is on the y axis price is on the so you can uh, you you have created the uh, lines here just there are two, only two commands which you have given and now you can work on this okay now let us see how to make the regression equation so i am just going to write the one line only just to create regression equation and regression line see first i have written slope 
intercept R value PV SC. I am not going to uh, say anything about R value PV and SC in this, mm, this. But we have created it. It is stats dot lin regress DFX and DFY. You know, DFX and DFY. X will be my X axis. Y will be my uh, y, y is uh, column so it will create slope intercept r value pvsc but i am not going to say anything on this we will discuss on regression in some other videos so sns regress plot y dfy y is equal to dfy dfy means data frame which we have uh, read y of that which we have created it here and dfx is there uh, x is equal to dfx i'm just going to delete i'm just going to delete this ci is equal to 10 9 uh, none ci is equal to none that i will tell you later on about this let us see what happens now now i have we have already given the commands which lingress stats lingress regress it will be calculated and in the slow slope intercept r value pvsc will be calculated and now we have got this sns regress plot y is equal to dfy x is equal to dfx label is equal to now it will create a label in the form of regression equation it will get the y which will be uh, multiplied by x so coefficient will be there uh, 0 is it to 1 f and similarly it will calculate the intercept and format will be slope intercept and legend wherever location will be wherever it feels fit a best it will sit now let us see we will run the will ask me the file test file then it will ask me what is my x axis x axis let us save one one y axis will be two and it has created a scatter plot for price and demand and equation is 42.4 minus 3.8 x so this is your coefficient minus 3.8 x plus 42.4 42.4 is your intercept is your intercept now what is this shadow what is this set this shadow gray color shadow is your confidence interval it is your confidence interval it is your distribution it is showing what is the distribution of this plot. confidence interval we can delete this confidence interval we can write it here as ci is equal to none ci is equal to none ci is equal to none so this will not show this confidence interval probability distribution of each plot will not be shown so let us run it select the file test 5 y axis is our uh, is our demand let us say demand f x axis is price demand is your, your y axis so it will be two so now it has created so this is coming back so now there is no shadow there is no shadow but it is also not showing probability distribution. see probability distribution you can come out what are the outliers say this point this point which i am showing it here is an outlier an outlier this will help us if it is ci is there confidence interval is there now we can change we can change the y-axis and say open we will change the y-axis and this so this will be our uh, x-axis let us two and y-axis is one so let us see now this one it is coming here as the price is coming on the y-axis demand is coming now the regression equation y is equal to 10.6 minus 0.2x so why this minus why this negative 
because the slope is downward. Slope is coming from top to bottom. It's an inverse relationship. If price is high, demand is less. When the price decreases, the demand increases. So this is the law of demand. And we have taken the data also in this way, so that there is a negative relationship. Uh, thanks for watching. In the next videos, we will see another visualization. Thank you.